Yu-Gi-Oh! What is up YouTube? This is Jeremy from Team Bio and today guys I have a couple packs of Chaos Impact to open for you. Um, sadly I wasn't able to make it to my local sneak peek but I was able to get my hands on a couple packs and obviously the Gladiator Beast promo card which if I can get that to focus looks absolutely amazing. Wish this would have came as a hollow in the main set but we'll take what we can get. But um, I was able to get a couple packs so Let's open them up. Maybe we'll get a Prismatic Rare. Definitely looking for some Gladiator Beast cards. I know I made a, a post I was talking about how I wanted to make a Gladiator Beast deck profile, but obviously since I was unable to go to the uh, sneak peek, I was unable to get any of the cards for it. So let's see what we can get. Marine says Crystal Heart for Hollow. What does that say? Salaman Great Transcendence for our rare. Hollows up there, rares over there, commons right there. Oh, it's so out of focus. Uh, yeah, cards I'm looking out of this for out of this though is definitely some Gladiator Beast stuff. Um, the Unleashed archetype looks kind of cool. I got a buddy who's looking for some cards for that. Hey, ultra rare bounty. Nice. So let's fan through these real quick. Let's read this card. If it'll focus. There we go. Uh, if your attacking monster destroys the opponent's monster by battle, target one card in, their, in your graveyard, add it to your hand. But for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate cards or the effects of cards with the same name as the added card uh, uh, that the added card had once it was in your hand. You can only activate one bounty for turn. So, like, I guess that's okay for uh, adding hand traps if you kill something. But aside from that, nothing really. All right. Try not to spoil too much. Fusion. And, oh, hey, it's still Dreamier, though. That's pretty cool. This is another archetype that I've been having a lot of fun playing with. Uh, two Dream Mirror monsters with different attributes. Uh, while face up on the field, this card is also a dark attribute. It's originally light. You can only use each of the following effects once per of the effects of this card once per turn. Uh, if another monster you control is tributed except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. If this card in the, if this card in the owner's position is destroyed by opponent's card, you can switch summon one Dream Mirror monster from your graveyard, except for itself. So that's actually pretty cool. And then, oh, Dream Mirror Counter Trap. Well, let's read that one too. Uh, activate one of these effects. When your opponent activates a spell trap while Dream Mirror of Joy is on the field, negate the activation and destroy it. Uh, when your opponent wants special summon a monster while Dream Mirror of Terror is on the field, negate the summon if you destroy it. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Not sure if that's the support they needed, but they're pretty cool. I have no clue why this is so out of focus. Let's see, we focus. All right. Let's see if we can get a secret rare at least. Yada, oh, Gizmic Yada the Gleaming Vanguard. And then a new Tenyi, that glare was terrible. Uh, same thing, if you control no effect monster, you can special summon this monster from your hand. Uh, da -da -da. If a if you control a face-up non-effect monster, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard to special summon one tiny monster from your deck, except for this card. You cannot special summon monster for the rest of the turn, except for worms, and you can only use the effect of this guy once per turn. So I'm wondering actually if, uh, I said worm monsters? Let's see. Am I just dumb or am I blind? I don't know. Took t took too long focusing on it. Oh, it's this card, not. So, do you, tell me, guys, do you think below if uh, you think Tenyi's could work with? What's that archetype called? Yang Zing. A Yang Zing Tenyi hybrid. Infinitrax. Let's see. Can we get just anything above super? I guess. 
Hey, secret rare, nice. Abominations Prison. So let's read this card, and then the Gladiator Beast rare. So let's read this card. Add one unchained card from your deck to your hand. If this card is, if this set card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one unchained monster from your deck. You can only use each effect once per turn. So that's kind of cool, actually. So it's just like a rota for the entire archetype. It, that's really cool. So I am actually going to give you guys a little bit of a surprise. Because that was five packs. We got 50 more, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, try to get this focus fixed, and I will be right back. All right, we're back. So I'm hoping this autofocus is going to work a little bit better. Um, I'm not too sure, but we got 50 more packs, like I said. That's a little bit over two boxes, 24 bo packs per box, 48 box or 48 packs is two boxes. So theoretically speaking, we should be able to pull about four secret rares. If we pull more, that'd be amazing. If we pull a prismatic secret rare, that'd just be absolutely absurd. So let's see what we can get, guys. I'll go a little bit slower towards the beginning, go over the artworks a little bit, or not over the artworks, just show the cards a little bit more. That's pretty cool artwork, actually. World Legacy World Key. But, oh yeah, that autofocus is significantly better. But yeah, commons, rares, supers, ultras, secrets. Let's hope we can get a prismatic spot. Move these down a bit, actually. If we can get one Prismatic Rare, that'd be just absolutely insane. Uh, other cards in this set, though, that are really good is, like, Striker Dragon, I believe is its name. Ultra Rare. Uh, Link Monster. Oh, that was three cards in. Dream Mirrors, all right. Then Gladiator Beast United. Uh, Dream Mirrors, I'm definitely interested. I am working on build for you guys, if you're interested. Uh, they just look like a cool archetype when they first came out. The last set, I was excited to play them. But we will see what Konami has set up for them. And I gotta give Konami props, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. This mat looks amazing. I know it's all covered up right now, but if you saw it in the beginning or if you went to your sneak peek and saw the mat, it looks absolutely amazing. Like, it really does. Dream Mirror. This card's actually nuts, guys. I'm gonna go over this card with you. And then another Gladiator Beast Trap. I guess it's not nuts, it's nuts for its archetype. Choose one Dream Mirror of Joy and one Dream Mirror of Terror from your hand and or deck and place them in your field zone and the other, or in your opponent's uh, field zone. You only activate this card once per turn. So you're basically just, it's kind of like a set rotation, but it activates the cards and it's kind of like a, what's that other card that's limited now? Um, not terraforming, but, well, terraforming, but the trap card version that I cannot think of its name, Metaverse. So. It's kind of like both those, and then the Dream Mirrors, if you guys don't know, uh, during the end phase, they tag themselves out, pretty much. So that's actually a really good card for the archetype. Really cool. I'm, I'm hoping they come, become like a kind of a stun deck, but we'll see. Infinite Track, Gizmic. Ooh, that looks like a different... Oh, nope, that, that was... <laughs> this was a hollow. So the Gizmic Yada. Nothing interesting. Nothing we haven't seen. I'm trying to like keep this all semi squared up. It might not work too well. All right. Yeah, this is obviously, guys, going to be a bit of a longer video. Another Dream Mirror Fusion. Salmon Great Transcendence. I don't think we've actually pulled a single. Uh, Gladiator Beast Return, I believe is the card. It's just a common. It's like a Monster Reborn, pretty much. But I don't think we pulled one of those yet. In the common slot. Hey, Striker Dragon. That's... Ooh, don't drop it. That's really good. That's like the chase card of the set. Then Blessed wins for like a Roam Mage. So Striker Dragon, that's actually really good. So let's go over this. One level four lower monster. If this card is linked summon, you can add one boot sector launch from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can target one face up monster you control and one rocket monster in your graveyard. 
Destroy that monster on your field, and if you do, add the other from the other monster from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use each effect of Striker Dragon once per turn. So that's actually really cool of a card. It's a great artwork too. I like that. Ultra rare slot. But we should have a ton more ultras and a couple more secrets, hopefully, within this big pack. Peaceful burial. Uh, the awful foolish burial for the uh, what's this card? Set. This card actually looked interesting. What is this? Old Mine? Look at one random card in your opponent's hand, then apply one of the following effects. Discard both that opponent's card and one card from your hand of the same type. Monster Trap or Spell. Then add this card from your... Wait. Then add this card from the field to your opponent's hand. And if you do, draw one card. Interesting. Or you can lose 1,000 life points. Hmm. That's interesting to say the least. Kind of like an exchange, but you don't see your opponent's entire hand. I guess it's like a slightly worse upstart. Gorgon Eye of the Empress. The evil Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye. I know that comes as a prismatic, so that actually looks like pretty cool artwork. Try not to get that glare in the background. And then Gladiator Beast Rare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Marine Cess. What is that? Overburst Dragon. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a single one of the Gladiator Beast Returns. We need any gladiator to be spoils, actually. The Link Monster, definitely, we need multiple copies of. Prim Primer... Oh, God, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Primer Primineral Congregate. And then Unchained... Oh, Unchained Twins Rakia. Interesting. We'll try to just slide through these packs a little bit quicker now. Oh, bump from the camera. Hey. What are you? Brutal Beast Battle. I love alliterations. Yeah, guys, I don't think I've seen a single one of the Monster Reborn cards for Gladiator Beast, and that's very upsetting, to be honest. Firewall Dark Fluid Dragon, though. That's beautiful, actually. Our first Link 5, TCG Legal Link 5. I'm sure everyone's seen this card's effect, but we'll go over it just because I forget it. Uh, three plus effect monsters. If this card is Link Summon, you can place counters on this card equal to the number of different types of Cybers monsters in your graveyard. Uh, Ritual Fusion, Synchro, XYZ. Uh, this card gains 2,500 attack for each counter on it during the battle phase only. That's crazy. So you're almost guaranteed, oh uh, no, you guys have to have other summoning mechanics, but that's still, that's not too hard. Uh, gain 2,500 attack for each counter on it during the battle phase only. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can remove one counter from this card and negate the activation. Also, if the effect was activated between this card's attack declaration and the end of the damage step, this can make another attack in a row. I'm sorry guys, you're probably seeing me wave back and forth, but... A little bit, a little bit shaky. <laughs> That's actually a really beautiful card in Jelly Cannon. The artwork is actually really great. Wow. Like, it sucks that the effect is, like, locked into Cybers, but... That's a really beautiful artwork. Like the map. Another Gizmic Yada, and then Gladiator Beast. About to have a huge stack of commons over here. Alright, let's just skip to hollows. Gorgon, Unchained. And then I'll just fan through this, all the common bulk later. Try to get my common Gladiator Beast cards that you guys heard me say like four times. Hey, the other chase card! I guess the main chase card is IP Mascarina. 
Nice. So we'll go over this card as well. Uh, two non-link two non-link monsters during your opponent's main phase. You can quick effect immediately after his effect resolves. Link summon one link monster using materials you control, including this card. You can only use this effect of IP Masquerina once per turn. A link monster that is used as material cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card. Oh, excuse me, card effects. <clears throat> so that's really cool. So you can like go into your nightmare plays on your opponent's turn, your uh, top logics. What else? Yeah, those I guess those are the only relevant ones to summon quickly. Oh, I'm bumping everything. Alrighty. Let's see if we can... So, like, we've actually pulled pretty well for this. More Evil Eyes. Gladiator Beast card, that's not the right one. We don't play that card, it's just suboptimal in the deck, personally, in my opinion. It's kind of like a cheese deck, or cheese card. Galaxy Satellite Dragon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we got tons of packs to go through, so we're just gonna have to try to slide through this a little bit quicker. Oh, ooh, a Romage got a new uh, Synchro. That's cool. What are other really good cards? I mean, the Prismatics are obviously gonna be super expensive. But, you know, the Dream Mirror. Can't think of anything else in the set. I really hope we pull some Test Panthers, though. Because, like, that card's, like, really good. Obviously, for its only for its archetype, but... Oh, I haven't seen this one yet, actually. So we're going to read it. Dream Mirror Phantasms. When this card is activated, you can add one Dream Mirror monster from your deck to your hand. If a Dream Mirror of Joy is on the field, all monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. If Dream Mirror of Terror is on the field, all monsters your opponent controls loses 500 attack and defense. You can only activate one Dream Mirror Phantasm's turn. So that's really cool. Um, it's basically like a, a tanky for the entire archetype. Fire Formation tanky, that's really cool. Definitely a bona fide 3 of. Just like tanky in any Beast Warrior deck. There it is, Glad you Beast Comeback. That's the name of the card, so... I think that's the first one that I've seen us pull. It's kind of upsetting, honestly, that it's just a common. Like, that would have been amazing as a super rare. Obviously, I'd prefer it as, like, higher rarity, but reasonably, that should be a super rare. And I know their fusion... Hey, this is another... Really, just cutting me off in the middle of the sentence. Another really good Link monster. Draco Masters of the Tangy. Um, real quick, I'm going to finish my sentence about this. This should have been super in the uh, Glad You Race Fusion instead of it. should have been Ultra, in my opinion, but it's whatever. So, I actually needed this card for a deck profile as well. Uh, Draco Masters of the Tenyi, uh, Worm Link effect, two plus monsters, including a Link monster, which Link Frames area, it's not too hard. Uh, can I be destroyed by battle with an effect monster? If you can, or if you control no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters. Your opponent controls up to the number of non-effect monsters you control and or in your graveyard. You can only use the effect of Draco Masters of Tenny once per turn. So that doesn't really matter too much, honestly. It's just these right here. Those are good. <laughs> Three downward pointing arrows. Absolutely nuts. Guys, I gotta say, our pulls have just been absurd. And my eyes, I think so anyways. And we haven't doubled up on any Ultras or Secrets. Prim oh god, I'm going to try to pronounce this again. Prime Mineral Congregate? Congregate? I don't know. We've actually had really solid pull, guys. Like, I think the only way this could get better is if we pull a couple of our Test Panthers and a Prismatic. Dream Mirror. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about Gladiator Beast, but I've been testing this deck ever since the uh, the support got released, or uh, announced, I should say. And I've just been loving every minute of it. More Dream Mirrors. I like how all the Dream Mirror cards are foil, actually. Or, most of them are foil. Because um, it's a really dorky deck that I, I enjoy. Tell me down below if you guys would like uh, to see a Dream Mirror deck profile. 
more dream mirrors, we take those. I haven't figured out an exact build yet, but I'm definitely working on it. I'm definitely trying out what, whatever I can. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best build, I guess, is just what I'm going to go with saying. But we will get there. Uh, Marine says Crystal Heart. What are you? Nebula Dragon. Ooh, the Starly's Dragon would be a really good pull to get too. So let's see. Oops. Another Unchained. Nice. An Unchained Abomination. Uh, Link 4. So two plus monsters, including a Link monster. Uh, if a card on the field is destroyed by card effect, except for Unchained Abomination, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field. Take that glare off. You can target one card on the field, destroy it. When another monster is destroyed by battle, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. During the end phase, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use each effect one. So this card just blows up card after card after card. That's like kind of nuts. That's really cool. 3,000 attack for a Link 4. That's not bad. That's really good sets too. And then there's our promo card. Gladiator Beast, the Spa, the Vesp. BS? Yeah, we're not trying that. These Unchained cards are actually pretty cool. Tell me if you guys would like an Unchained deck profile as well. Um, I'm not currently building one, but I know one of my buddies is definitely building one. He's got interest in the deck. Um, I've got Dream Mirrors cards and Gladiator Beast coming soon. Hey, speaking of Gladiator Beast Domintius? I butchered that but this card is actually really good guys so uh the summoning the materials aren't necessarily needed because you summon it off of a uh, gladiator beast tamer elder editor can't remember his name but uh its effect says must first be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck you don't use poly uh once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect a quick effect you can negate the activation and if you do destroy it so it's just a, a free monster negation um and then after that, during your opponent's battle phase, you pretty much choose, like, if they declare an attack, you get to choose where the attack goes. So you just obviously can make them run into him because he's 3,500 attack. Which I'm really excited to get you guys that deck profile without bumping the camera, hopefully. Um, finally, another one. <gasps> no, another Striker Dragon? Guys, this is nuts. I don't. I believe these were pre-selling for forty. I don't know what they're at right now, but like I'm okay with getting doubles of that. That's pretty good. But yeah, these are all. I think we've just had solid pulls all around, guys. But where is my link monster? <laughs> and peaceful burial. I just want. Like I get excited about any Link Monster that we pull Ultra Rare, but I want my Test Panthers. Like, jeez. And another uh, Dream Mirror, which I am perfectly okay with because we need pretty much play sets of each of them. Common stack getting thick. We still got, let's see, we got tons of packs with one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen more. But we have almost a box left, guys. We've only pulled two secrets though. That's that's odd. Let's see if we can get a couple more. At least one more would be nice. <laughs> and as I say it, that's amazing. So, ooh, that's really sparkly, actually. Let's see, Unchained Soul of Disaster. Let's try to not shake too much. Uh, gains 300 attack for each Unchained card in your graveyard. You can only use each effect of the, each effect of the following each of the following effects once per turn. Jeez, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls immediately after this effect. Link summon one Dark Link monster using only this card you control and that card. Well, that's really cool, actually. Uh, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one Unchained monster in your graveyard, except for itself, and special summon it. So that's really cool. Let's see, what level are you? I'm blind. One, two, three, four. So it's a level eight, so... I don't, I'm not too sure on how the archetype works, but I'm sure there's some way of... Uh, what is it? 
bringing them out, special summoning them. No clue how like, any of the other cards in the archetype do, but I'm sure my buddy's got it covered. He's going to be super excited about all these pulls, too. More Dream Mirrors. We've got to have at least a play set of uh, both versions of the dogs by now, which is good, because that's what's needed, at least, as far as I know so far. Marine says Crystal Heart, and then another Tenyi. Hey, this is really not. This is another good, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, ultra rare Gallic Granite because it basically just searches new beer, Nimbiru. Uh, two level four monsters, you can detach one material from this card and activate one of the following effects. Add one run, add, excuse me, add one rock monster from your deck to your hand. So Nimbiru, or some of you might remember I played Prediction Princess. I love that deck as well. Um, Pot of the Forbidden is a rock monster. Uh, then the other effect is search summon run rock monster from your hand and face down defense position. You can only use this effect once per turn. Ooh, block dragon. Yeah, my roommate just came in and actually told me that block dragon is searchable with this. That's actually really good. Yeah, so that's really good, actually. I forgot about block dragon entirely because that card's like absolutely nuts. Guys, these pulls are crazy. Double strike, like... We don't have any bad pulls, I don't think. Except for not pulling my Link Monster. I want my Test Panther Konami. Let's see what we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more packs to get a Test Panther. I'm sorry if you guys are tired of hearing about it, but Gladiator Beasts are just so fun, and I hope you guys watch my deck profile. Because it's truly such a fun deck to play. It really is. And it's like not bad either. It's definitely not meta. But it's you can make some pretty cool boards with it. As soon as I get all the cards guys. I promise you a deck profile. ASAP. Along with Dream Mirrors. Still working on an, a solidified build for that. But I definitely have Gladiator Beast build down. That I'm 100% in love with. Peaceful Burial. Oh god, this video is long. I'm sorry, guys. I hope I hope you guys are still here watching it. I really appreciate it if you do. I hope you... Um, let's say, uh, if you have been watching it this whole time, if you haven't just skipped to the recap, comment down below what your favorite card in this uh, set is. I'm, I'm sure you guys have figured it out by now, but mine is obviously Test Panther. So... Comment down below your guys' favorite card in the set for whatever reason. Um, tell me what the card is and, and why you like it so much. Mine is Test Panther because it just makes Gladiator be so crazy with what their potential is. I would love to hear your guys' opinions about this set. I know it's not the most competitive set, but I think it's just a really cool set altogether. And another ultra rare. Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi. Let's see. Yeah, because they do have a level 1 tuner that I know of. Uh, 1 tuner plus 1 non tuner monsters. If your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can negate it. Oh, you can banish it. I skipped tons of words. Uh, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can banish it. If this attacking monster destroys an effect monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. Also, it can make a second attack in the same turn, this battle phase. You only use each effect of this guy once per turn, so that's actually really cool. So what level are you? Eight, one, two, three, four, eight. Yeah, that's really cool. That's interesting. Some uh, OTK cheese going on right there. That's a really interesting card. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, we pulled... Ryan! Ryan, we... come here. We pulled a Prismatic. Dude, this is so sick. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys heard me yelling, but that's sick. I have not pulled one of these. Is that the secret? Yeah, this is a Prismatic secret rare. I have no clue what the original rarity is. It's probably just a rare, but 
the fact that we got a prismatic that's nuts guys like i know uh ip the prismatic i think is going for like 400 dollars i'm obviously this one's not going to be nearly as much but that's amazing i'm trying to get as much of it in, in frame as possible i'm not gonna like obviously you guys are probably from team samurai x1's channel that came over here i love his channel I don't think he pulled a Prismatic in any of his pack openings. I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but... Guys, that's nuts. But where is my Gladiator Beast Link? Oh my god, guys, that's so crazy. That's amazing. Oh, dude. That is awesome. I hope I didn't yell too loud. I was trying to like yell at a reasonable volume, but this recap, guys, is about to be fire. One, two, three, four, five packs left. Oh my God. I don't want to be greedy, but can we pull another one? Could we? Oh my God. It's not as prismatic, but it's a really good secret rare as well. Guys, this box has just been straight, or not box, but these packs have just been straight fire. Starly, Sky, what is that, Searfurt? Let's read this. Because uh, I remember reading about this a while ago when it was first announced, and it was really cool. You can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand and or face-up field to the graveyard, add one dragon monster from your deck to your hand, whose level equals the total original levels of those monsters sent to their graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one level eight light or dark monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. So that's really cool. It's uh, definitely it's going to help with Dragon Link. I, I could see some potential blue eyes with this, like with a, uh, uh, it definitely won't see some competitive play, but like this was like Chaos Max, adding dark dragon, dark dragon monster from your graveyard, adding it to your hand, then resummoning like Chaos Max, whatever. Um, this is a really cool card though. My rares are all over the place. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's like, I hope this isn't too loud for you guys, but this, this was just nuts. Like, absolutely absurd. Like, I'm not even too upset about not pulling my, uh, Gladiator Beast Link that you guys probably heard. I, I hope someone kept tally. If someone go back and rewatch the video, tell you how many times I bring up the Gladiator Beast Link, including that time. I would love to hear what the final number is. Just see how irritated I am for you guys. And Dream Mirror. All right, guys, two more packs. Whew. We pulled, I think, every ultra rare except for the one that I'm not going to name. Bounty, double up on Bounty. All right, guys, one last pack. What will it be? Will we get another ultra rare? Will we get another secret rare? Will we hit a prismatic rare? Or end up with a, just a super? All right. Whew. Here we go. Wish me luck. Hit that thumbs up button, guys, because this box is just, or this, this has just been insane. All right, let's see what it is. I'm going to try pulling them up like this so I don't ruin the, the, the surprise if it is prismatic. <laughs> nope, one more. Give me something good. Uh, all right, so just a dream your foe. So it's okay. I'm honestly not even too upset. I'm slightly salty, but not upset. So give me one minute. I'm going to pause the video, organize everything, and I will get back to you guys with a recap. All right, so we are back, guys, and I just got to say that <laughs> That box was absolutely absurd. I want, I keep calling it a box, but it's just, it was 55 packs. They were absolutely absurd. Whew. So for a quick recap, um, just cards I was excited about personally, just what the one card was getting the Gladiator Beast Fusion Monster. That was really exciting. That's the only super I really cared about. Uh, some ult our ultras though, we got two bounties. Those are kind of subpar, but not bad. I lied, they're bad, but they're ultra rares. Uh, Draco Berserker, have the Tenyi. The Unchained one was really cool. This guy's really cool. I love that artwork, too. Draco, Master of the Tenyi. 
Did I call him a Tenyi? He's unchained, sorry. Draco Master of the Tenyi. Card's really cool, I love those arrows. Summoning materials are easy. Gallant Garnite, Gal Gallant Granite. What is wrong with me? Really, really cool card, really good generic uh, rank four. Not one, but two Striker Dragons. Along with that, an IP Mascarina. Guys, that's nuts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our secret rares, though. Uh, Abomination's Prison. It's really good. That uh, that just seems like, as far as I know, that would be a three of in the deck. Firewall Dark Fluid. Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. That just, that artwork is just beautiful. I wish it was a little bit more playable, but... I'm sure there's some Cybers cheese deck that's going to be out there that's going to break this card for just Cybers. Unchained Soul Disaster. That's really good. Starleys. I have no clue how to pronounce that. Safer. Really cool. Really great artwork, too, as well. Actually, now that I look at that a little closer. But, guys, nothing's going to top it. Our first Prismatic Secret Rare of on the channel that is absurd guys i almost did not buy all these packs and this would have gone to someone else so i just want to thank you guys so much for sharing this moment with me I'll try to get this a little bit centered i want to thank you guys so much for sharing this moment with me i really do tr truly appreciate it all of you guys who subscribe to the channel comment down below like the videos i really really do appreciate that um, I know a lot of you are mostly here for the Samurai, which I understand. That's what my channel was based off. But for those of you who watch all my content, I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Remember to like the video, comment down below. And remember, uh, I won't say it now, but if you did watch towards the middle of the video, remember what I said about commenting. Tell, tell me down below. Um, but, but yeah, guys, that, that those packs were absurd, so... Thank you guys, Rubber Vans over here. Thank you guys again so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Recognize when I wreck a mic, leaving all y'all mesmerized. Killing instrumentals, but nobody wanna testify. In his prime, I think someone better check the guy. Always spit and eat the beat, gon' be hard to identify. Stress minds and wreck mics and leave with the best lines. My sex life is great, cause I spit like a tech nine. Stop competition, beat them with the lead pipe. Sleep on you rappers just like it's my bedtime. You already know that old big pearl from the west side. Got you hoes smoking on my flow like a meth pipe. Forever cold, I'll eat your soul like a death side. Headed to the top, shining brighter than a headlight. You better wreck. I'm about to go off, putting on a show and I ain't even trying to show off Here's the red dot, the shot, and kill Rudolph Call me James Bond, cause I killed it with a suit on <laughs>